So my name's uh, Neil Harrison. Um, I'm an academic psychiatrist from the University of Sussex in, uh, in the United Kingdom. So the type of research that I do it really looks at how inflammation or activation of the immune system changes our behavior. So for example, the way that we think, the way that we feel, the way that we're able to process complex information. Um, and I do that in a number of different ways. So some of these studies involve healthy young volunteers that are given an inflammatory challenge. So I deliberately inflame them with a, with a very mild inflammatory challenge and then look at how that changes their behavior, how that changes their mood, and how it changes things like, like memory function. So what I mean by models of inflammation is that we, we have experimental ways of inducing mild inflammation in otherwise healthy individuals. So one of the things that we do is we use uh, just a, a standard clinical typhoid vaccination. We get healthy individuals and we vaccinate them with typhoid vaccine and then we monitor their immune and inflammatory response over the next three, four, five hours. So how does this work relate to ME? This is, this is a very interesting question. What, what I do is look at normal responses to an inflammatory challenge, both in healthy individuals and in patients, for example, patients with hepatitis C. Now, what we know about ME is that a, a very high percentage of individuals with ME describe having an acute infective challenge prior to the onset of symptoms. So I think though this isn't an exact perfect model, I think it is quite a nice model to use to look at how our body and our brains respond to an acute inflammatory challenge.